In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to denoise dialogue, and I'm going to be moving very fast, but don't worry because I'll be going over the operation of all of the modules that I'm going to use in this tutorial later on in the course. So what I've done is loaded a piece of dialogue. This has one male voice and two female voices, and I'm going to denoise it using the denoise module. So let's take a listen to the audio before we do anything to it. So I'm going to hit the return to zero button and let's take a listen. So we've always been concerned about the uninsured population. We have 400,000. We can hear that there's some room noise back there and what we want to do is get rid of the noise. Now one way to do that is to go to the denoise module and then make sure that you're on the dialogue denoiser and you can choose manual mode, but for this demonstration I'm going to use auto because it will find the noise for me and remove it. So now I'm going to hit the preview button to hear how this works in its default state. So we've always been concerned about the uninsured population. We have 400,000 people. Now I'm going to hit the bypass button so that you can hear it without the denoising. People from diverse populations. And so we have attracted a very talented staff that is very concerned. Now there's still some noise in there, so what I'm going to do is raise the reduction from the default of 12, and let's bring it up to about 20. So that they can have affordable health care. We um, started with a handful of employees. We were seven employees with a very diverse background, and our mission was to um, look at our goals and objectives. And then I'm going to raise the threshold just a tiny the bit. community at large, but also including the Here's before. community. In order to... And after. ...these populations in a transparent, or I would even say uh, authentic way, um, we decided to... And that does a great job, and as you'd expect, the dialogue denoiser works really well on dialogue. But let me quickly show you how to make a noise print to make an even more precise noise reduction. So I'm going to close the denoise module for just a moment and let's take a listen to the beginning of this clip. So we've always been concerned about the uninsured population. We have four Now there's a couple of sections that don't have any dialogue in them, so they're going to be mainly silence but there's that room noise that's there in the background, and we're going to use that to build or learn a noise print. So I'm going to take my time selection tool, and I'm going to click and drag a selection around those areas, then click the zoom to selection button, and let's take a look at those two blank sections. This first section actually has a little bit of breathing in it. He takes an inhalation here, and that's not a good place to learn a noise print because you don't want to remove frequencies that you want to keep and you want to keep the breathing and the other things that are in the dialogue. So this second section over here looks a little bit more empty. Let's take a listen to the audio so you can see what I'm talking about. So we've always been concerned about the uninsured population. We have four. So right here I'm going to deselect by typing control or command D and then with my time selection tool, I'm going to draw from left to right a selection in that dead air. And then I'm going to go to the denoise module. I'm going to go into the spectral denoiser and I'm going to learn that footprint. So it's going to look at that room noise and it's going to make a footprint. And I'm going to drag the quality slider over to best. Then I'm going to deselect by typing control or command D and now, when I hit the preview button, I'll be able to preview the noise reduction. We have 400,000 people that are uninsured, a lot of young families, a lot of people from diverse populations. And so we have attracted a very talented staff that is very concerned about these diverse populations. And so I think our mission has been to reach that population, uh, to inform them of what their choices are. And that sounds really good, so since I like that, I'm going to hit the Process button, and that will apply the denoising to the entire file. So now that I've got that denoising applied, I'm going to close the denoiser, hit the Zoom Out to show the entire file, and there's one more thing I want to get rid of, and that is some hum. So I'm going to go to the Remove Hum module, I'm going to go into Manual Mode, and have it learn the hum frequency and as you can see, it has decided that there is a hum around 141.9 hertz. 
and you can see those as long horizontal lines in the low frequency of the spectrum view. And there are a few harmonics in there, so I'm going to leave several of the harmonics on, and I'm going to change the slope because they get quieter as they get higher in frequency. Then I'm going to hit the process button and it will apply that hum removal to the file. So now when I listen to the file, let's go back and forth between the original versions and the new versions by using the undo feature. So we've always been concerned about the uninsured population. We have 400,000 people that are uninsured, a lot of young families, a lot of people from diverse populations. And so we have attracted a very talented staff that is very concerned. So that's how to quickly denoise dialogue. And next, let's talk about restoring cassette tape recordings.